All right, guys, in this vehicle specific video, we're going to be doing the front doors on the 2017 GMC Denali. Um, we do have the rain guards on here, but they're not too big, so it won't create much of an issue. Let's go right to the outside prep. I'll show you guys how to pull the weather stripping out, and we'll go forward from there. First thing you're going to want to do, of course, you hear the door chime, the key's on. You're going to want to trick the latch, get rid of that noise, and to pop the gasket, we don't have to take the whole panel off. We only have to take, we only have to pull back on the top. So you're gonna remove this plastic cover here behind the handle. You can see there's a little notch on the bottom. You're gonna get the hook tool in there and just pop up on that. And it literally just falls out. And we got a seven millimeter behind there. We'll back that out. Place it in the door cup here. And there's a couple ways to do this. Sometimes they release very easily just by pulling firmly across the top. The other times you'll have to use a tool to release the clips. So let's check this out. It's pretty tight. It is cold out, so the colder it is, the tighter they'll be because everything stiffens up when it's cold. So I'm gonna show you guys the way to do this if it doesn't release just by pulling it. In order to do this, you're gonna need a gasket jamming stick and a panel removal tool. You're gonna to come from the outside and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go and stick the gasket stick between the panel and the actual gasket and shove it in there And the whole idea here is to reveal the clips that are holding this in place. And once we get a couple of them, I'll be able to really show you. All right, so we got one clip released. This panel's a lot tighter than they typically are. I don't think I've ever had one be this tight. But you can see right here, there's a clip. And once we release these, I'll show you guys more closer. We're gonna take the gasket stick and just push on the top of that clip to release the pressure. And like I said, when I release this all, I'll show you guys with the panel pulled away. So the key here is to take the panel removal tool, the clips right here in the panel. We go as close as possible, that way we can put pressure. And we use the gasket jamming stick to go on the top of the clip, push down on the top. And that'll release the pressure from the clip and release it from the panel. You see these clips right here? So what we're doing is, they go into the slot down here. What we're doing is we're taking the, the panel removal tool, we're putting it here, putting the pressure, and then while simultaneously holding the pressure on the panel, we'll take our other hand with the gasket jamming stick and you're gonna push down on this clip. When you push down on the top of it, it releases the pressure and it releases the panel. And you just wanna do that across the entire top. And once you have those released, you can go on the other side and pull the gasket out. So after you have all of those top clips released, the main other clip that you're going to want to make sure you release is the back one here, all the way down here. So all you have to do to release that is pull back on the top of the panel, and that'll release, giving you more room to work with. So we can pull the panel back, grab the gasket with our hand, paying close attention to the clips because they do fall out. You want to keep those in place. So stay close to the clips as you're pulling the gasket out so they don't fall out and into the door panel. Once we have that gasket removed, we can roll it up and we'll go ahead and follow up with the inside prep. There is some glue residue on this window, so it has been tinted before. So now we wanna make sure we pay extra close attention to all the corners and sides and edges, and of course the surface of the entire glass to make sure we get all of that glue residue off so that it doesn't get into the window film. Give it a final wipe down and a very thorough check over to check for any glue residue. Especially in the corners, it's typically where it gets trapped the most because it is harder to remove. We look like we're good to go here. Let's give it one more once over with the gasket jamming stick with the towel wrapped around it, down the sides, just to get any loose glue residue out of there. We'll go ahead and lay out the bulk material and start hand cutting. We're using 20% Suntec Standard Pro. I'm gonna go long ways so that I can 
limit having to have the material lay over the top edge, but if you have a 20 inch roll, that'll be the optimal way to go with this, since you can use a 20 inch roll for the height of these windows. If you were using a 20 inch roll, you could use a straight edge and line it up to the bottom, but since I use a 40 inch roll sideways, we're gonna have to cut the bottom edge first, we'll cut the front edge, and then we'll shift it forward. So we'll mount it in place when we cut the bottom and the front. Cut the bottom edge. Cut that front edge. Cut off the excess material. Now that we have the front and the bottom edge cut straight, we'll release that squeegee mark. Shift it forward of a quarter of an inch. And since we have that lower gasket out, I'll go ahead and overhang the bottom slightly. So we have excess material on the bottom edge and the front edge. We'll go ahead and cut the back edge. I'm gonna cut top to bottom with my knife at a 45 degree angle. Pull off that excess material. Now we can go ahead and roll it down and cut the top edge. Since we do have the rain guards on here, the only complication that creates is we have to roll the window down a little bit further to cut the top edge, just because that's in the way a little bit, but not a big issue. We'll mount the top edge in place. And just like any other roll down window, we'll cut the top edge from the front to the back, or if you're left-handed, you might wanna go from the back to the front, whichever is more comfortable for you. One thing to pay attention to is this back bevel or radius that we have here. It's not a straight edge, so you wanna go with that, which you see we did here on the material. So we'll pull the film off and we'll finish off our top front and rear edges or sides with the continuation of the straight edge that we already did. There we go. Round out the bottom corner. Round out the bottom front corner. We'll do our continuation on the back top edge. And then we'll flip the material and work from left to right with cleaning up these radiuses. So we have the top back corner here. We wanna kinda of match that curve that we got going on. And then we have the front top. We'll continue from the top and radius to the front. So mount the material on the outside. One inch from the top, overhanging the back, just like any other front door window. Mounting it in place, wiping the top edge, and then we're gonna go ahead and roll it up to our desired installation height, which would be about an inch from the top. If these rain guards were bigger, you would wanna mount the film on the outside lower so that you have enough room to work with there. You don't wanna stuff the film between the rain guard and the glass. Flush down the back, across the bottom, across the front, miss the middle. We'll squeegee that water off. Overlapping strokes. Down the back. Then we'll flush down the back again, across the bottom, across the front, and lubricate the center. Now we can go ahead and grab our material, peeling the release liner using your desired method of releasing the re release liner. Grab the material. And just like any other roll down window, I'm gonna get that front bottom corner in first. Working the bottom in as you go. Get that front top corner in. Lay down the back. If you have to, kink the material a little bit without creasing it. Work the front in, work the back in, and work the material down until you can lay the top into place. Of course, we're gonna line up the top edge. Get a nice tight gap. Once you have them filming this 
position and it's on the entire window, you can roll it down a little bit. The reason you want to have it up high when you install the film because the more glass that's visible to you, the easier it is to get the film on there without creasing it. But once you have it in place, you can tap the window down a little bit so that you can see the top edge bit better. Line up that nice and tight. And we're good to do our first squeegee to get the majority of the water out. And then we'll go over it again harder. Holding the film in place, especially on the first squeegee strokes. And we'll spray it up again. And I like to go front to back, overlapping strokes, much harder pressure. Notice how I wipe the squeegee blade after each stroke to remove any contamination that could get stuck to the blade and end up scratching the film. So now we have the whole center squeegeed out. I'm gonna go down the back and the front side with the easy reach just to get those sides pushed down. And then we'll go across the top edge with the blue hot towel, the gray Laco card, and the heat gun. Paying attention to making sure the top, front and rear corners are laid down very nicely. I'll say this again, I'll say it in every video. You wanna make sure those top corners are mounted down and sealed up because they contain the most pressure when you roll the window up. That's where the pressure points are on the glass. So if they are not laid down properly, it will peel. Give it a once over from the outside. Look for any contamination or film lifting. And again, work on this top corner. Whichever part of the film that you peel from, you are gonna notice a very slight imperfection. Sometimes, not all the time. It's very easily worked out with a little heat from the outside and a little chiseler on the inside. The colder it is, the more heat you will want to apply to the outside after squeegeeing. We're good to roll this window up. Spray that bottom edge. Give the door panel a quick wipe down. And we can go ahead and squeegee the bottom section about five inches from where we squeeze it already. So we squeeze it up to here. We're gonna start from up here. Just to get any left behind water residue that could have been left in between our squeegee strokes when we went front to back. So that's all squeegeed out. We'll go down the back sides and the front side. Then we'll miss the, the window again and go over it with the gray Lico card and the heat gun to seal up that bottom edge. Remembering to point the heat gun at the window and not the door panel. If you hit here, the heat will travel down. Last thing you want to do is burn a, a door panel. With the easy reach with the heat gun. Just like the top corners, the bottom corners are very important to ensure that they're laid down. Get the panel real quick wipe down with the heat gun. Evaporate some of that water. We look like we're ready to reinstall this weather stripping. Let's give it a final heat. It is about 30 degrees outside here, so if it were summertime, I wouldn't have to use too much heat, but when it's cold out, you wanna make sure those edges are sealed up really nice. So we're ready to put the gasket back in, make sure it's in the right position with the tongue here, with the groove here. The tongue is the metal on the door panel. We'll pull away from the top, slide it into place, lay it down, make sure it's nice and level across the top. And then since we just pulled the gasket, the, the panel away from these clips, all we have to do is smack it back into place and it'll clip back onto those individual clips. We just wanna make sure that this pin down here or that clip is lined up with the hole. As long as it is, we're ready to smack the panel back into place. And that's it. All we have to do is put that seven millimeter back and the plastic cover back on and this door will be done. So we'll put that seven mil back. Put the plastic cover back in. This little groove down here is where we put the hook tool. That goes on the back edge, just like so. Pops back in. Quick wipe down. 
And that is how you tint the front door on a 2017 GMC Denali or Sierra pickup truck.